faults. They were just out there. Man, faults was here before you got here. Wow. Whether you are aware that you choose them or not, you do choose them. You make choices. See, sometimes we're the corporate. We're the people that destroy dreams and visions. You got a mother that her mother, and then her mother, and her mother told, four generations told her that, girl, get your head out the clouds. You ain't gonna never be nothing. You ain't going nowhere. Don't know about the love. You don't know about the want you. Well, you know, a lot of our kids are just repeating what their mother said or father said, uh, and we're just carrying that same pattern. And it's so sad. You in the grocery store buying groceries, you hear that curse. You hear that restriction. You hear that limitation being placed upon that child. You're programming that child to be a loser rather than be a winner. See, if you're not aware of this, then we keep doing it. See, the Christian church has really taught us to disregard your intuition. That's, that's of the devil. Don't, 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 don't trust your intuition, trust God. Well, who do you think God is? He is your intuition. But see, at the right moment, at the right time, timing can be everything. And when your high self speaks to you, you got to move. See, we trust everything outside of ourselves, but we have a problem trusting what's in us. Yes. We trust the news people to tell us the truth. <laughs> they give us 55 minutes of bad news. And if I, well, let us top the day off with some good news. You done loaded my mind up with all this bad, negative stuff the world is a terrible place to live in. And now you're going to tell me five You can't erase all that 55 minutes of bad stuff in my mind now. you got to learn to trust your intuition. you got to learn to trust your visions. Your higher self knows the truth about you and knows there's something greater for you to do. But if you stay depressed too long, guess what happens? Diseasement comes in. And disease means disease comes in. Your high self wants to talk to you. Your high self wants to encourage you. Your high self wants to lift you up. Your high self is guiding you. You got your conscious mind, you got your subconscious mind, and then you got your super subconscious mind. Listen to what Jesus said. Let this mind be in you that was in the, which was in Christ. You take your subconscious mind, you take your super subconscious mind, and when them two become one, that's the marriage. Your high self has your best interest at heart at all times. It would allow some hard things to come upon you, all in a way of preparing you for what's to come. Some of us are still suffering from the old teachings that the love of money is evil. But what will be the evil of it? Money is not evil. It is a misuse of it which means that you don't understand the purpose of it. Psalm 23, 23rd Psalm says, He restoreth my soul. He, he takes an old piece of furniture and makes it new. He takes an, an antique piece of furniture and just revitalizes it. And now I become a new creature, praise God. Whoa, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Because he has restored me. I should not walk because I understand now. I already have all things. All I need to do is call it forth, amen. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. He leadeth me. He's guiding me by the still waters of life, amen. In this new awareness of having a peace of mind, I just said, I keep my, he keeps me in perfect peace because I keep my mind stayed on him. Take charge of your mind. Take charge of your thoughts, amen.